Let's explore the largest country in South America. Brazil. In this video, we will showcase 10 must-visit destinations in Brazil, a country of natural wonders, vibrant culture, and diverse people. Before we begin, this is not a ranking, but a selection based on popularity, uniqueness, and diversity. We all have our own list of favorite places, so please share yours in the comments below. Are you ready to embark on this journey? Let's get started. We start our journey with Rio de Janeiro, which is the most famous and visited city in Brazil. Rio lies on the southeastern coast and overlooks a spectacular bay, surrounded by mountains and forests. The city is known for its liveliness, as well as its music, its carnival, its beaches, and its people. One of the first things that will strike you about Rio de Janeiro is its iconic statue of Christ the Redeemer, which stands on top of the Corcovado mountain. It was mentioned in the video dedicated to the seven wonders of the modern world. Another must-see attraction in Rio de Janeiro is the Sugarloaf Mountain, a rock formation that rises to 396 meters above sea level and can be reached by a cable car. From here, you can admire another spectacular panorama. If you love the sea and the sun, you can't miss the beaches of Rio de Janeiro, which are among the most famous and crowded in the world. Among these, Copacabana and Ipanema stand out. Two long stretches of fine white sand, where you can relax, swim, engage in sports, or simply observe the local life and culture. Here you can also taste some typical specialties, such as caipirinha, the national cocktail made with cachaça, lime and sugar, or churrasco, the grilled meat served with various side dishes. Rio is also a city rich in history and culture, which you can discover by visiting its historic center, where you can find buildings and monuments of various epochs and styles. Among these, we recommend you to visit the Metropolitan Cathedral, a modern construction in the shape of a cone, which has beautiful stained glass windows. Another aspect that makes Rio famous is the carnival. This celebration is a true explosion of joy, color, and creativity. The highlight of the carnival is the parade of samba schools, which compete with music, dance, and costumes in an atmosphere of pure magic. The Rio de Janeiro Carnival is one of the largest and most spectacular events in the world, and an experience to be lived at least once in a lifetime. The second destination I'd like to introduce you to is the Iguazu National Park, which is home to the largest and most spectacular waterfalls in the world, located on the border between Brazil and Argentina. These waterfalls have been designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site. As I've already discussed this remarkable place in the video about the seven natural wonders of the world, I won't go into much detail here. You can visit the waterfalls from both the Brazilian and Argentine sides, and we highly recommend doing so because each side offers a different and complementary perspective. From the Brazilian side, you can enjoy a panoramic and breathtaking view of the waterfalls and get up close to the Devil's Throat, the most imposing and awe-inspiring of the falls, with its U-shaped form and a width of 150 meters. The Iguazu National Park is surrounded by a rainforest, which hosts a rich biodiversity of flora and fauna. Here you can admire various types of plants, flowers, butterflies, and birds, including rarer animals such as toucans and coatis. Another attraction that you can visit in the park is the Parque das Aves, a sanctuary for tropical birds, where you can get up close to macaws, toucans, hummingbirds, and many others. If you're an adventure enthusiast, you can also try some thrilling activities like rafting, kayaking, paragliding, or helicopter flights over the waterfalls. Salvador, the capital of the state of Bahia, is a city overflowing with culture, history, and natural beauty. 
It is the cradle of Afro-Brazilian culture, and its historic center, Pelourinho, is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Pelourinho is a must-visit for any visitor to Salvador. With its colorful houses, winding streets, Baroque churches, and museums, it is a feast for the senses. Visitors can learn about Salvador's rich history and culture, and experience the vibrant Afro-Brazilian community. Salvador is also a coastal city with stunning beaches. Praia do Porto de Barra is one of the most popular beaches in the city, with its calm waters and lively atmosphere. Praia do Forte is another beautiful beach, located about 80 kilometers north of Salvador. It is known for its calm waters, white sand, and abundance of coconut palms. Praia de Itapua is a golden sandy beach with turquoise waters, made famous by a song by Vinicius de Moraes. No visit to Salvador would be complete without sampling the delicious Bahian cuisine. Acaraja, a fritter made from beans and shrimp, and makeca, a fish and coconut stew, are just two of the many dishes that visitors can enjoy. After introducing you to Salvador, the cultural capital of Brazil, we now take you to discover a paradise island. Ilha Grande. This island is located off the coast of Rio de Janeiro, and is part of the municipality of Angra dos Reis. Vila do Abrajo serves as the starting point for various trails that crisscross the island, allowing you to reach some of the most beautiful and untouched beaches on foot. Among the must-visit beaches, we highly recommend Lopez Mendes, considered one of Brazil's most beautiful beaches, with its fine white sand and crystal clear waters. Other famous beaches include Dois Rios and Praia do Aventureiro. Ilha Grande is not just about beaches. It also boasts mountains and forests that offer splendid vistas and challenges for trekking enthusiasts. Among the mountains to conquer, we suggest trying the Pico do Papagaio, the island's second highest peak, standing at 982 meters in height. Let's continue our journey and reach a colonial city with an irresistible charm. Parachi. This city is located on the coast of Rio de Janeiro and is part of the municipality of Angra dos Reis. Parachi is renowned for its historic center, which has been designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The historic center of Parachi is an example of Portuguese colonial architecture, with its colorful houses, its cobblestone streets, its Baroque churches, and its museums. Here you can take a walk through the alleys, and admire the details and curiosities that characterize this city. If you want to explore the islands that surround Parachi, you can take a boat that will take you to visit some of the most beautiful and suggestive, such as the Ilha do Palado. The Ilha Comprida and the Ilha de Cotia. If you prefer mountains, you can embark on hikes in the Serra de Boquina National Park, a park that stretches between the states of Rio de Janeiro and Sao Paulo. Parachi is a hidden gem on the coast of Brazil. With its historic center, stunning islands, and lush national park, Parachi has something to offer everyone. We move inland to the state of Minas Gerais, to visit one of Brazil's most beautiful and well-preserved colonial cities. Ouro Preto. Founded in the late 17th century, Ouro Preto became the epicenter of the Brazilian gold rush. Today, it is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, known for its Baroque architecture, churches, houses, and monuments. Some of the most impressive buildings in Ouro Preto include, the Church of St. Francis of Assisi, the Church of Our Lady of the Pillar, and the Church of Our Lady of Carmel. Visitors can also learn about the city's history at the Museum of the Inconfidencia, which recounts the story of the revolt against Portuguese rule. 
In addition to its historical and cultural attractions, Oro Preto is also home to stunning natural beauty. The Itacolomi State Park, located just outside the city, offers visitors the opportunity to go on nature hikes and reach the peak of Itacolomi, a mountain with panoramic views of the surrounding countryside. Manaus is our seventh destination, and it is the gateway to the Amazon forest, the largest and most diverse forest in the world. Located in the state of Amazonas, in the north of Brazil, Manaus is a city that combines modernity and tradition, and that offers many opportunities for discovery and adventure. One of Manaus' most famous and must-see attractions is the Meeting of Waters, where the Rio Negro and the Amazon River come together, but do not mix, creating a stunning visual effect. The Rio Negro has a dark color, while the Amazon River has a brownish hue. These two rivers also have different temperatures, speeds, and densities, which is why they flow parallel to each other for several kilometers, without merging. You can admire this natural phenomenon from a boat, and even dip your hand into the water, to feel the temperature difference between the two rivers. Another attraction is the Amazon Theater, a Renaissance-style building, constructed between 1884 and 1896. Its outer dome is covered with 36,000 glazed tiles, forming the colors of the Brazilian flag. Manaus also allows you to immerse yourself in the nature and culture of the Amazon, and experience unique and unforgettable moments. You can visit the municipal market, where you can purchase typical regional products, such as fruits, spices, crafts, and fish. Among these, we recommend trying the piruku, the world's largest freshwater fish, which can reach up to 3 meters in length and weigh up to 200 kilograms. If you wish to explore the Amazon rainforest, you have various options, such as staying in an eco-lodge, taking a boat tour, or participating in a guided hike. I discussed the Amazon rainforest in the video dedicated to the seven natural wonders of the world. Let's explore the northeast of Brazil and visit Fernando de Noronha, a marine national park island located about 350 kilometers off the coast in the Atlantic Ocean. I featured this island in my video on Dream Islands. Fernando de Noronha is one of Brazil's most beautiful and preserved places, and was declared a World Heritage Site by UNESCO in 2001. It is the main island of a 21-island archipelago of volcanic origin. The island is home to some of the most beautiful beaches in the world, including Baia do Sancho, Baia dos Porcos, and Praia do Leal. Baia do Sancho is a bay of crystal clear water, surrounded by green vegetation. It has been repeatedly named the world's best beach, as mentioned in my previous video on the most beautiful beaches in the world. Baia dos Porcos is a beach with clear sandy shores and turquoise waters. Praia do Leal is a beach with golden sands and crystal clear waters. It is a nesting ground for marine turtles, from December to June. Our ninth destination is Jericoacoara, a small fishing village that has become a popular tourist destination. Jericoacoara, also known as Jerry, is located on the northeastern coast of Brazil, in Jericoacoara National Park. Jericoacoara Beach is a haven of fine sand and crystal clear waters, nestled among dunes and palm trees. Here you can bask in the sun, swim in the sea, and enjoy the wind, while engaging in various water sports, such as surfing, kite surfing, and sailing. Jericoacoara National Park is home to not only Jericoacoara Beach, but also other natural wonders. These include Pedra Furada, a rock formation with a hole in the center. Lagoa do Paraiso, a lagoon with turquoise waters, where you can relax in hammocks above the water. And Mangezel, 
a mangrove area where you can observe the local wildlife. We've reached the end of our virtual journey to Brazil. Our last stop is Gramadu, a city in the Saragocha region, that's known for its European charm and Christmas spirit. It's a popular tourist destination, with a strong German and Italian influence, evident in its architecture and gastronomy. Gramado's historic center is like an open-air museum, with Bavarian-style houses, churches, monuments, and gardens. Rua Coberta, a pedestrian street covered by a glass and flower canopy, is a popular spot for strolling. Gramadu also has a strong Christmas spirit, transforming into a magical place each year with lights, decorations, shows, and attractions. Nature lovers will enjoy Lago Negro, an artificial lake surrounded by trees and hydrangeas, where you can rent a pedal boat for a romantic ride. We have seen the 10 must-see destinations in Brazil, a selection of places that will make you discover the wonders of this South American country. This is not a ranking, but a selection of places based on some criteria and sources. There are many other beautiful and interesting places to visit in Brazil, such as the Pantanal. Brasilia Fortaleza Curitiba and Recife. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe to our channel for more videos on the most beautiful and unmissable destinations in the world. Thank you for following us, and see you in the next video.